Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to install some Custom Dynamics Pro Beam lights on my 2018 Sport Glide. All right, so a little history. I already have Custom Dynamics turn signals in the front of my bike here, but on the Sport Glide, LEDs come stock in the rear, and I'm really not sure why they didn't put them in both the front and the rear, but it doesn't matter at this point, because I already have the ones for the front, and they've been working great. They still work great, but from what I hear, these prone beeps are supposed to be way better. All right, I'll go ahead and show you guys incredibly easy install. All we're gonna do is take the old bulbs out and then put the new ones in. All right, take a little flathead screwdriver, find the notch, stick it in, rotate, that's the stock lens. Then we're gonna take out the old lights. Should just have to rotate and pop right out. Here, and to show you a difference, here is the old gen, and here's the new one. Also, what's awesome is that Custom Dynamics gives you lenses with your turn signals, which that's great. So kudos to you guys. There's even a, looks like a little gasket on here that's gonna keep it from, from moisture and water getting in there and ruining your lights. So big ups there, I like that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it put in. All right, before we put our new bulbs in, we're gonna take a clean paper towel here and we're gonna clean the inside of the housing and make sure there's no grease, no dust or, or corrosion in there. That way we have a good connection for the light, you know, to the electrical system. All right, we're gonna install our new light. That's a little trick, you can use a screwdriver and there's a notch on the part that connects inside your housing. You can kind of push it in with that and turn it. It may take a time or two to get it right, to get it into the right spot and twist it, but once it holds, you're pretty much good. So take your lens in one hand and in the other one, you're gonna coil up get those wires in there and then put your lids on. Make sure your gasket's seated in the right spot around your lens. And then just pop it on. All right, so here's a comparison video of both lights side by side while the bike is turned on. All right, the brightness looks just about the same, just at, at, at running, you know, running mode or whatever, but here's what they look like with the turn signals flipped on. All right, so I'm just gonna run the same process for the other side, and then we're all done with the fronts, and then we're gonna move on to the rear. So now we get to do the rears and you're going to notice on the pro beam LED turn signals for the rear They are a JAE type of connection. So it's not the regular regular uh, 1157 connection or 1175 these are a little different But the real challenge is going to be to get the stock LEDs out of here But I think maybe if we use a couple screwdrivers kind of wiggle it loose Maybe we'll be able to do this without any problems, but let's go ahead and find out Now, as you can see, it's very tight around the edges here. So maybe if we try a couple of these screwdrivers and try to wiggle it loose, maybe it'll come out without any problems. Since we got it loose now, there's a little tab here we're gonna push in on. I'm probably gonna use a screwdriver because it's a very tight area to get my hands into. And then that should let the, the LED light come loose. And there she is. All right, so here's the new light assembled with the lens already and gasket to prevent water from messing up your electrical system. So we're just gonna plug this into that, tuck it in there, snap it in, and that should be it. that back in there. All 
All right, so once more before I install the second one, we're gonna show a comparison side-by-side -side of the Harley stock LED light with the new Custom Dynamics Pro Beam side-by-side. I know on screen it's probably gonna look a little different, but major improvement. They look a lot brighter. They, they, I mean, they're sharper. They just look better. They just overall have a good aesthetic appeal to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the second one. And then we're gonna do a full blown test and run the hazards and make sure the the system electrical system gets synced up with the lights because we don't need a regulator or anything like that with these newer bikes. So let's do that, and I'll be right back with you. All done. All right, let's see what it looks like with both lit up. Man, these things look good. All right, so again, I'm running these for about three minutes with the hazards on, that way the electrical system can, you know, set the right voltage to all LED lights since we're all LED now. Nice and bright. Visibility is just gonna go up by a ton, guys. So, Custom Dynamics, thank you guys very much. Great products here. Um, I was happy to pay for them the first time, even more grateful this time for you guys to send these out to me. If you guys are interested in these lights, please go down to the description below, click on Custom Dynamics, and I'll even link to these exact models. So if you have a Sport Glide, if you have a Harley, if you have any type of bike, Custom Dynamics is the way to go for lights, guys. Can't say enough good things about them. Well guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you for joining me once again here on the D-Cycle channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the new Custom Dynamics turn signals. I think they're fantastic. Thank you again, Custom Dynamics. You guys take it sleazy, and I'll see you in the next video.